Hello, my name is Siddharth and today I am going to talk about ultrasound guided adductor canal block. Now we all know that it is uh, basically a uh, motor sparing block targeting the femoral nerve after the most of the motor branches to quadriceps have already been exited and uh, see uh, femoral nerve passes through the femoral canal to lies beneath the sartorius muscle entering uh, into a aponeurotic intermuscular tunnel in the middle th uh, third of the medial side of the thigh which is called as a uh, Subsartorial canal or adductor canal or hunter canal. So, uh, this is the canal, the length is 7 to 10 centimeter and it is in between the femoral triangle and popliteal fossa. So, the canal is uh, bounded enterolaterally by uh, vastus medialis entro medially by the sartorius entro laterally by vastus medialis and posteriorly by adductor longus muscles see somewhere here you will find the sartorius muscle on the top somewhere here this is vastus medialis and this these are the adductor muscles and uh, the main content or we can say main content of the adductor canal is actually femoral artery femoral vein uh, saphenous now now to vastus medialis and posterior division of obturator nerve and sometime maybe anterior division of obturator nerve. So these are the content of adductor canal. Now as we as we know it is uh, it is actually a sensory block but the larger volume can cause a motor block. Now this block is actually indicated in saphenous nerve harvesting uh, saphenous vein harvesting or striping uh, it can be used for supplementation for medial uh, uh, foot or ankle surgeries in combination with sciatic nerve and it can be used in tkr thr or like knee surgery for analgesia for knee surgery in combination with multimodal analgesia and uh, this block is very useful uh, specifically in TKR uh, if you want a motor sparing analgesia action then this is very much useful see uh, mainly it is purely a sensory block but if you, you utilize a larger volume it can act as a motor blockage and uh, if you utilize a higher concentration then also it causes motor blockage and it can cause difficulty in ambulations but these are the indications that uh, mainly sensory block is mainly utilized. This is the dermatom and osteotom of uh, adductor canal block, specifically saphenous now. Now ultrasound parameter and that uh, generally utilizes high frequency linear probe in average lipid patients but if patient are obese you can use a, a curvy linear probe. Uh, resolution mode uh, depth keeping up to 2 to 4 centimeter uh, in plane approach from lateral to medial and uh, dose generally I use is 5 to 10 ml uh, that is low dose and if we want a high dose then 20 to 30 ml can be utilized. See just like this. Uh, the patient lies in supine positions and uh, we just have to uh, put probe in front of the thigh uh, just to scan the sartorius muscle first and uh, the uh, main target is femoral vessels and this is how uh, horizontally we need to press the high frequency li li linear probe and uh, let's see the technique. Uh, 
the where exactly do you actually want to give uh, adductor canal block is that uh, see the canal is large one and uh, you can place at three level like when the sartorius crosses over femoral artery uh, before crossing or when it actually crosses or after crossing see uh, the a is before crossing the obturator now uh, before crossing the femoral artery this one when the uh, when the sartorius lies laterally to the artery at the same level uh, that is sartorius and femoral artery this is b and c in that after crossing the sartorius means first uh, from lateral to medial you find the first one is femoral artery and then you will find the sartorius muscle i generally recommend b uh, b approach see uh, when we put probe on the medial aspect of the of the thigh front of the thigh uh, we just have to first uh, target is the anechoid pulsatile structure that is femoral artery over here and this boat shaped muscles is sartorius this is peculiar peculiar view of sartorius muscles and you will uh, you have to see these two landmark okay now uh, nose lies on the anterolaterally to the femoral artery somewhere here and it looks hyperechoic through though it is not possible to identify all the time but there is uh, uh, you can uh, you can you have to find out the uh, now to ask this medialis and uh, saphenous now okay uh, now when we enter through the sartorius muscles actually it is having uh, when you approach through the sartorius muscles you have to you will feel some click over here at the level of sub sartorial membrane that is called that is also called as vaso adductor membrane and that will give rise to a click to the operator and the drug deposition just distal to it will also give rise to that double bubble sign so the approach many many will approach through the sartorius and they they feel the click and they deposit the drug over here over here like through the click and they will reach to uh, just very near to the femoral artery they actually uh, deposited drug many consultants are also also doing horizontally they enter through this area and they inject somewhere nearer to this point the, uh, just very close to the femoral artery and they just they they just separate the femoral artery through the all the boundaries mostly on the lateral and upper superior one so that will cover up these points okay so this is sartorius muscles somewhere here sartorius muscles somewhere here you will find the adductor longus this is adductor longus and on the laterally you will find the vastus medialis muscle this is vastus med medialis muscle and here above to the subsartorial membrane you will find the subsartorial plexus now plexus is there and this is femoral vein just behind the femoral artery and uh, uh, on the on the superolateral aspect you will find the two nerves that is uh, now to vastus medialis and uh, saphenous now saphenous now is a sensory now if you want to utilize a pns then you have to you need to go for a stimulation of uh, uh, now to vastus medialis because saphenous is purely a sensory one so you cannot stimulate the saphenous now so by stimulating this you can in inject the drug so that can be a guide in specifically when you are utilizing pns see femoral artery vein and two nerves so when we inject drug over here after the piercing the adductor membrane see it will gives many time appearance of a double bubble sign this is one and this is second so this is called double bubble sign and when this is this is present this is very ideal uh, condition but many time it is not not possible to get these these picture in ultrasound so let's see the scanning 
and that uh, see this is uh, a sartorius muscles over here and uh, see we are trying to go at b point and uh, see this is this is the femoral vessels and this is anterolateral part this is this may be a nerve bundle over here two nerves and uh, somewhere here we have vastus medialis and this is the adductor muscles see the board shape muscles is sartorius and injecting a drug over here see i'm going actually i'm actually tracing the high frequency linear probe into the from uh, proximal to distal like see the sartorius is crossing is already cross over here and you will find the separate saphenous now will will we will coming over here this is the distal one portions here the saphenous will be taken care of this so now screening from knee to to the mid thigh see we are going pro, uh, proximally see the sartorius is covering again and this is the site of b the, that one is c and somewhere here we will be have to deposit the local anesthetic drug so this is screening from knee to mid thigh see this is vein which is which is which is collapsible and this is artery and at this point just just beyond the vasoactor uh, vasoactive membrane subsartorial membrane you have to uh, instill the drug over here and uh, you can come from this area you can come from lateral to medial i generally utilize lateral to medial approach over here but you can come from this area also and uh, drug is deposited is 5 to 10 ml for low dose and uh, 20 to 30 ml for high dose so the scanning is scanning let's see see again see uh, this is screening from mid thigh to knee see this is a again converted into the B uh, this is not A is not actually perfect but this is nearer to B that is midpoint of the uh, this uh, canal and now we are going uh, distally up to the knee so that this saphenous now will lies more super superficially and this will cross the femoral vessels sartorius will cross and uh, see and somewhere here will find the saphenous now which will which will which which will become more superficially so the vessels are more superficial now see and from this point we are going back and again sartorius is going uh, becoming anterior to the femoral vessels see and uh, this is the point where you actually uh, need to block now see the compressibility test over here so the vein is compressible and artery this is artery and this is vein see this is compressible this is not and this is the area for our adductor canal block okay now let's see the block see uh, this is sartorius this is femoral artery vein will be somewhat in posteriorly this area is our target this is medial this is lateral needle comes from lateral to medial and see i am going on the top of the artery uh, and below to the subsartorial membrane and i am targeting these two part these two structure hyperechoic structure maybe a nerve maybe a both nerve and see uh, i am going to inject few ml of local anesthetic see okay i am just trying to position it okay local is given over here okay see 
the one bubble is there and uh, now is inside it you can you can see it so this is double bubble sign can you see this is one bubble and this is the canal so I'm trying to be uh, see the local is injected injected and you can you will appreciate somewhere here is a femoral artery this is local anesthetic again and this is uh, the one thing one bubble over here and one bubble over here and this is now this is a second now actually targeted but that part of video is missing but you can uh, very well appreciate this this double uh, bubble sign okay so this is uh, actually a one now target the second now uh, target is is missing but the volume will definitely will cover the both the nerves okay so let's see second block second video in that see this is uh, what we know actually and uh, see this is sartorius muscle somewhere here and somewhere here you will find the femoral vessels this one this one this is artery this is vein and these are the nerves this may be a nerve okay and This is a boat shaped muscle that is sartorius. Okay. This is uh, a bone that is femur, shaft of it. And uh, see, my needle is actually targeting. entering from this area from lateral to med uh, medial approach see on just hitting on just going uh, uh, beneath the the, the sartorius muscle and entering uh, into the plane where the nerves lies uh, mostly on the superior uh, lateral aspect of the femoral artery and uh, this is the area the drug injection is there very close to the sartorius uh, muscle trying to separate the muscles let's see see the facial plane is open up this one and definitely I'm I'm beneath the sartorius muscle now entering into the nearer to the nerves and uh, trying to hydro dissect the plane this is in the adductor uh, canal now the local is there and again I'm going a little bit nearer to it to inject uh, at the level of uh, now I have reached yes this one is very near very on the top of the femoral artery so this will cover up the the saphenous nerve and this is uh, what i use is lower volume uh, sartorius uh, block subsartorial block see now this is is in a perfect way which is actually lowering the femoral artery So the pulse is that you need to apply the gentle pressure because femoral vein can be compressed by your high frequency linear probe and uh, you need to confirm the spread of local anesthetic uh, inside the canal by exploring the transducer along the canal and click uh, maybe feel when you cross the subsartorial membrane and a slow infiltration is necessary to get best spread with low volume and that's all thank you